Warning. The following video contains amateur chess content. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, YouTube? We are back again today on the road to 1,000 ELO. This is episode 13, I believe. Uh, I tried to record a game right before this one, and we got smoked, as you can see right here. Um, did not play well, so let's try to get a win this time. Hopefully we get white, and we do get white. Okay, I'm kind of thinking uh, London or Italian. Let's do a London. Let's play a London. I really haven't played one in the Road to a Thousand Elo yet. Um, and it's an opening I know pretty well. Um, so I think it's time we unveiled it. So the London, you're, uh, it's all about fighting for this E5 square. Um, and when the knight hops in here, I think I'm just gonna... I definitely don't want to trade the bishop for the knight. So I think maybe just this. Maybe just this. But can he go anywhere annoying after that? I mean, he can double our pawns. Yeah, he can definitely double our pawns. Which is a bit annoying. Uh, so maybe we just go for this first. Yeah, let's just go for this first, and then we'll go for this. But we have that pretty London pyramid going on. Hope everyone's having a great day. Now let's get some wins. Okay. Um, I want him to take us. But I don't think he's going to do that. Um, so now I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking here, and then we go after this bishop, maybe. Let's do it. Bishop takes. Okay, interesting. So I want to take with the pawn, but this skin, this gets tempo on the rook. So maybe this is better, but... Honestly, I don't know, though. This has got to be the better move, right? We get tempo, though, so I think I'm going to have to play it. Wow, he castles directly into it? Hold on. What on earth? Okay, I'm going to get this knight out of here. Yeah, I'm going to get this knight out of here, and then I'm going to go after this pawn, and I'm going to simultaneously threaten... Um, getting the the queen in over here. I mean, if we can get the queen into the square, it's actually game over. So the queen holds the these squares. So let's not blunder our queen. Um, but if we can go here and then here. Honestly, don't even think I'm going to take this pawn. Oh, my bishop was hanging. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't even... He didn't even take my bishop. I blundered so hard. All right, well, let's just let's just trade bishops. Wow, he gave us a second chance at life there. That was crazy. Really don't want to see knight here. Okay, this is the threat, I guess. He hung a pawn though. He did hang a pawn, but he clearly wants this. He clearly wants that. Should I just let him have it? Or should I just castle? Or should I castle long? No, let's be smart. Yep, I knew that was coming. Um, but we still get this pawn for free. That is still on the table. We also can play this and kick the knight or kick the queen out. So do I want a pawn or do I want to kick the queen? If I go here, where does he go? He offers a queen trade, maybe. Um, I think we have enough time to do both. I think I'm going to do both. I'm going to snag this pawn and then come right back and kick him out. Um, our pawns are extremely solid, so... He really isn't threatening any infiltrations with the queen. 
I even could kick the queen out this way. But I assume he's going to... Whoa, he didn't even threaten our bishop. Okay, well, I can get tempo this way. So let's go for that. Yep, and now we're going to get tempo again. Oh, I think the rook's just trapped, actually. Yeah, the rook's just trapped because he moved this one over there. So we're going to win a rook. So if he offers a queen trade now, I might just take it um, and go into an endgame upper rook. And we're already up two pawns as well, so um, we shouldn't have trouble winning this endgame. But yeah, you can't say you can't save the rook. I mean, you could block with the queen, but that's even worse. The knight can't threaten our queen, thankfully. I don't. Yeah, I really don't see any good moves for the opponent. He goes to the outside with the knight. That's when you know you're just cooked. Okay, we're gonna take that. Okay, that pawn is not free. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to start pushing pawns. Or a rook to the center, maybe. Knight really can't go anywhere. I mean, it can go here. I guess let's prevent the knight coming here. Yep, but now we can just do this. Right? Pawn takes, takes. I guess the rook does get in, so we'll just bring another defender. Then we'll play this. Okay, opponent's playing some good moves. We can boot the knight. We can boot the knight, and then our the rook can't take because of our rook. So where does the knight go? I guess here or here, something like that. Um... If I push the pawn, takes, 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 and then I can't take with the rook because his rook. So yeah, I think we're going to have to do this. Oh wait, now the knight can get in. That was really dumb. Yeah, that was stupid. Uh, but now I can get real annoying. I can get real annoying with the queen. And he doesn't have any forks, I don't think. Yeah, I mean he has he actually has this fork if I don't move the queen, so that kind of just incentivizes me to move it. So now we're gonna win this pawn, because he's gotta defend the rook somehow. I guess he could go here. Or no he can't. So yeah, we're gonna be winning we're gonna be winning another pawn. Okay, queen wants to maybe get in here, I guess. What about queen here? Queen here. You can't really defend both pieces. And you can't go here. You can't go here. There's nowhere on this diagonal to defend with the queen. So I think this has some merit. We're getting real, real annoying with this queen today. Okay, I guess you can play that, actually. I guess you can play that. Uh, but now you've kind of pinned yourself. This doesn't work, sadly. Yeah, this doesn't work. That's really sad. We don't really have any more threats. So what about rook here and push this pawn? Takes with the knight. Then we take the queen. Yeah, we need to get the knight out of there. 
oh, this pawn's hanging. But if he leaves, then the knight's hanging. So I guess that's not too bad. But we need, we need, we need to think about that pawn in the back of our minds. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're bringing the, the, the king forward? Interesting. Okay, so here, knight takes, queen takes, pawn takes, we get the knight. This has got to be it, right? Here, knight takes. Then we could take the rook, actually. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. If you take with the knight, we get the rook. If you move the queen, I mean, I'm sure there's somewhere you can go. Yeah, that's not a good move because now we just get the rook. But I got to make sure I'm not blundering anything. I got to make sure I'm not blundering. Uh, where can this knight go next? Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to I'm going to have to take this. Yep. Now we get okay, this guy's kind of just hanging all his pieces. That was a tough one to untangle from though. I feel for him. Okay, he wants this rook. I'm going to go ahead and say no, and then we still defend this pawn two times. Okay, yeah, I mean, you just, you can't take either one of these, though, unless you want to lose your queen. Um, so, yeah, maybe I just bring, should I bring the king closer? Nah. Yeah, let's bring the queen back. Give a check. Um, no, maybe we threaten, yeah, we threaten getting the rook in over here. I think that's mate, actually. Is that mate? It looks like it is, unless he makes a pawn move. Because we cut this whole diagonal, and then the rook cuts this, and he can't get to this square. So I think this is going to be checkmate. Oh. He saved it, but we still need to give this. There we go. All right, let's game review real quick. Back to 928. That game went way better than the one I played before. Okay, so we played at 80% accuracy. Uh, we had no great moves. We had 19 best moves, and the computer evaluated us at 1,500. Uh, we played an okay opening, an okay middle game, but we played a great end game. 99% accuracy in the end game. Incredible. All right, so we played the London. D4. Uh, Bishop F4. Connect the pawns in the center. Knight out. Uh, light squared bishop to the center. Uh, he hopped the knight in, which is a mistake. Let's see why that sucks. Because I feel like I faced that a decent amount. Hmm. It's a lot. Wow. This thing goes so far into the future. It's actually crazy. Insane. All right. So we never would have reached that position because we are not stockfish. Uh, where, where, where were we? Okay, so we connected. We made our little uh, London Pyramid of Pawns in the center. Uh, the London's a great opening if you're around my ELO. Uh, if you're, I don't know, I would say anywhere from like 500 to 1,000. Like, it's a really good opening. Uh, you can play it at the higher levels, but you need to be careful with the London because it's, it's one of those openings where you can get caught up. Like, if you just play the London and you just mindlessly play all these moves... Um, your, your brain can kind of turn off and the opponent, if they know what they're doing, can exploit you. Um, so 
it's kind of a lazy opening. Like you can find yourself in a bad position if people know how to um, exploit it. Uh, but the London got me through from 600 to like 800. Like that's all I played with white. All right, this was a mistake. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Bishop takes was best because it gains tempo. They cast, this was insane. I mean, this was unhinged. Castling into this is crazy. We took the knight. Uh, this was a blunder because we literally hung our bishop, so uh, opponent missed it, thank God. Still a blunder? Why is that still a blunder? Oh, uh, it was still a blunder because they could have just forked. Uh, yeah, they could have just forked the bishop and the queen and won it again. So we played it terrible. And here I am talking about how well I know the London and I'm just throwing. Um, now that we're game reviewing this, I'm realizing... Uh, that this this was a thing. So we missed that. We should have kicked the queen out immediately. We took a free pawn. We brought the bishop back. Kicking out the queen. Yeah, we trapped the rook. We took the rook. Uh, yeah, we prevented the knight from hopping in here. Because that would have been super annoying. He wanted this fork. On the queen and the rook. So we prevented that. Supported this pawn again. He pushed a pawn. Uh, we wanted the knight out, but we should have brought the queen back and supported the square more. Uh, yeah, that just allowed him to get the knight in. So remember when we wanted to prevent this? Yeah, we kind of, the next move just allowed it. Okay, yeah, and here we forked the rook in the in the pawn. He brought the, uh, the knight back to support the rook. We took the pawn. Um, and then the next move, we played this. Uh, Stockfish says, who cares about this pawn? Just go for this immediately. Yeah, so we tangled these pieces, made it real hard for him. Um, he tried to hang on to the knight. We should have immediately kicked out the queen, but I thought we needed the rook behind it for some reason. Then we went for this pawn move. Uh, he took with the knight, which hung the rook. So we took the rook, he took our pawn. We took his knight. So now we're up like 11 points of material. Um, yeah, we brought the rook back, so he can't back, back rank us. That would have been brutal. Um, he, like, forked our rooks, but you can't take either one unless you want to lose the queen, so not really a fork. We gave this check. Uh, we threatened mate with this move, because we hold this whole diagonal, and he has nowhere to go. He pushed a pawn. We gave the check anyway. He ran, and we deliver checkmate. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was episode 13 on the road to 1,000 ELO. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed all that good stuff. If you ever want to watch live, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash curbchess. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.